Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2021. How are you doing, Cappies? I know that this passing full moon really shook a, nor uh, shook <laughs> a nerve on you guys. Um, you're one of the signs that is greatly affected or was greatly affected and is still going to be affected for this passing full moon. But this is a beautiful energy. Why? Because it has us really analyzing where we're at right now and where we want to be. So introspection is always important. Alrighty, my lovelies, how are you doing? If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can get the newest updates of the videos going up. If you've been with us for quite a while, welcome back, my lovelies. We have tons of new videos coming for you guys. Readings and spell work, so exciting. I'm also thinking of uh, making a series of, um, of tarot cards, how to interpret them. If you guys are interested, definitely comment below. Let me know. Uh, I know I have a few clients that have been wanting personal one-on-one -on -one teachings. Um, I just don't think I have the time for that at the moment. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely let me know. Comment below. Okay, Capricorns. Let's see what's coming towards you guys for this month of April. Emotions are really being tested for the month of April. Um, I see you guys being very, probably a bit overly emotional. This is definitely scary for a Capricorn. <laughs> when it has to deal with emotions, you guys are not the most best at it. <laughs> Don't take it personal, Cappy. I'm a Cappy myself. Uh, but they're telling me you're definitely going to be challenged in regards to your emotions. This could be situations, circumstances that come up that have to do with family members or the family dynamic, people around you um, that may need emotional support and you're kind of like sitting back, not really knowing how to react to it. Um, this could also be you being tested in relationships and partnerships um, where there is a need for you to be transparent, uh, where there is a need for you to be honest and transparent, but not in a blunt way, Capricorn, in a loving way. Yes, that is a challenge. I know. Okay, one more. Okie dokie. All right. In regards to communication, well, the devil card. So again, in regards to communication for the month of April, you have the devil card. This could represent being very much in your power, Capricorn. Uh, this is a bit, there is a need for you to let go of control. Yes, my lovely Capricorns. This is what I was hearing when they were telling me about emotions and not really knowing how to express without being blunt, there's a need for you to be tactful in the way you express your feelings or express uh, when you're communicating with other people. You may be coming off a bit too strong, Capricorn. Uh, this is very much in your power, however, so I do see you guys being very assertive. I do see you guys being very confident, really feeling yourself, and that's definitely a good thing, but again, when it comes to emotions, try to be a little bit more in tune with your emotions. Now, in regards to your finances and career, beautiful energy, Capricorn. You have the sun card. The sun card is illumination. This is you really standing out in your workplace, in the career that you're doing, the profession. This is really taking it to the next level. I'm hearing a lot of elevation is going to be happening for you guys. For some of you guys, with your earth, uh, sorry, with your earth energy, with your devil card here and the sun, this is talking about being highlighted. So for some of you guys, if you are dealing with the public or if you're dealing with uh, people on social media, anything like that, this is bringing to you some type of admiration or some type of recognition. So again, Whatever it is that you're doing, if it's in the public field, you're definitely going to be very receptive, very empowered. And I do see recognition coming through for a lot of you guys, especially because we have your card and the sun. So this can be 
almost interpreted as fame if we had the Wheel of Fortune. But uh, on a smaller scale, but I still see very uh, a lot of blessings coming your way, a lot of fortune coming your way as well. So again, very beautiful energy. Keep at it, Capricorn. Keep working your ass off. I know I don't need to tell you guys. Uh, we have that almost like that's how we breathe, right? <laughs> uh, but definitely beautiful energy. Now the obstacle to overcome. <laughs> Oh, this is so funny. I should have just left it at uh, what spirit was communicating before I even took out the cards. Um, so in regards to the blockage to overcome for the month of April, the Ace of Cups, your emotions are blocked or you're trying to protect your emotions by not being completely honest. There is a fear of losing control or there is a fear of losing um the strong image that you want to portray to either your partner or the people around you. Now, this is a this is something that I often tell clients when we do personal readings. There is nothing wrong with being in power, with being in your own power. There's nothing wrong with being confident. There's nothing wrong with being even if you have a strong character or personality, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, there is an issue when we go out of our way to continue showing that because in reality, what we're doing is we're wanting to show the world that we're not vulnerable or that emotions do not or will not sway our opinion on certain things. And I know that this for Capricorns is like, what? You're crazy. Emotions would never, you know, be a detriment to how I view or perceive a situation. But what they're telling you here, Capricorn, is with the Ace of Cups as an obstacle, you need to overcome the fear of being vulnerable or the fear of being in touch with your emotions. It will not, it will not make you any less. If anything, it's going to show you as some type of complexity that makes you much more mysterious. And I know this is like, ah, for Capricorns, right? Um, but it's just showing that there is many facets to you. You're not, and I know Capricorns have a tendency of not wanting to be put in a box um, and, and, and just being in tune with your emotions or being in tune with your feminine energy, even if you're masculine, being in touch with your feminine energy just creates more of an enigma around your energy, Capricorn. For some of you guys, it could be that you are scared out of your mind because there is a connection that is going to be unfolding in the month of April. And you're like, well, I did want a relationship, but not sure if I want it this deep. Whether you're ready or not, it's coming. It's coming, Capricorn. So if you are in a committed relationship, it just represents that your partner may be feeling a bit needy or a bit clingy. Do the best you can just to encourage them, um, be, be loving towards them, um, validate them is what they're saying. They, they, there is a need for some type of validation. Um, make a beautiful gesture. Take roses to your wife. Take roses... Uh, or take, you know, go out of your way to, to give something to your partner, to your husband. Uh, let them feel appreciated is what, what they're saying. There is a need for some type of validation. Um, and I know Capricorns are not really, like I said, overly emotional. So uh, we react more towards the practical. So a gift, a gift with thought is definitely going to uh, bring out the best in your partner. Um, I see a lot of you guys really being in your head about a relationship that is unfolding for those of you guys that are single. Let's see with your emotions. <laughs> emotions and relationships, we have the King of Cups. So you may be dealing with a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For others of you, not necessarily. You could be dealing with uh, water. You could be dealing with the Leo. Um, but the King of Cups doesn't have to be their moon or sun sign. It could just be the energy that they're taking on. 
So the obstacle here is the Ace of Cups, being in tune with your emotions, connecting with your emotions. And the King of Cups is exactly that. This is a person that is mature in their emotions. This is a person that, yes, he's masculine, um, but he's still very in tune with his feminine energy. He understands that he has to be or that he is the protector. Um, but at the same time, he understands that romance and and beautiful words and poetry is very important as well. So this is a person that is very in tune with their emotions. This could be a person that is military background. For those of you guys that um, are single, you may be dealing with a person that is coming through. Uh, this person may have military background. This person could be um, not just military, but like a police officer, firefighter, that type of energy. Um, this is a connection that's coming through for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single. This is a new energy. And I feel that if you're already dealing with this person, things are going to get hot and heavy in the month of April. I feel that there is definitely a love offering coming through. And this is a promise or the beginning of a promise of something more stable and more structured. Um, this could be a situation with the devil card that it could have started as something sexual and it turns into uh, a relationship. It, it turns into both of you guys wanting to be around each other, uh, not just when you want to be around each other, but feeling the need to be around one another and genuinely enjoying each other's company. So again, I feel a lot of you guys may be like, where the hell did this come from? Uh, I see you guys being very much in your head. I feel that this person is definitely going to bring out the your sensitive side Capricorn. And I feel that this is a beautiful energy. Um, if it is a Cancer, this is your opposite. So again, uh, you know, Capricorn, very practical. Cancer, very in tune with their emotions. They're telling me this is immature. Uh, it, a very mature energy, not immature. Um, so I definitely, this is a beautiful connection, you guys. So again, if you're single and you already are dealing with someone, this is something that could potentially progress into something long-term. All right, let's see here what is unfolding. What is the direct message for Capricorns for this month of April 2021? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Doors to Romance. Yeah. So, Capricorn, whether you're a female or whether you're a male, do not fear tapping into your feminine energy. Everyone has that. We all have that. We all have masculine and feminine energy in us. Some of us have stronger feminine or masculine energy. But it's okay to give up some control. Now, I'm not telling you to give up completely control over, over yourself and just give yourself completely to this person. No. What I'm saying is it's okay to allow people to step in and to want to gain your trust. It's okay to open the door to opportunities that are coming in. Try not to overthink or overanalyze because I fear I feel that the fear may take over and start to create some type of blockage. What they're telling you here is when you're dealing with this energy or when you meet this person, if you haven't already, let things unfold and uh, take their course in an organic way. Do not be quick uh, to make judgment. Do not be quick to, you know, put them in a specific category, especially if it's a person that this connection starts off as something physical. Uh, don't decide just to put them in that category because this person is coming to you. They may not even be aware that they're ready, that they are emotionally available. And this will manifest into something long term. So beautiful, beautiful energy for those of you guys that are committed. Again, be loving towards your partner. Give, it's almost like, you know, pay attention to the signs. Um, pay attention to what your partner likes and gift them something. Even if it's something very small, something that just reminds you of them, by you doing this gesture, you're, you're not only validating them, but you're also letting them know that no matter how long you've been with this person, you are still very connected to what they like 
and that you genuinely think of them. Uh, because I feel that it's very important to maintain the romance in any partnership. So again, I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.